Hey guys, welcome back. So I have had the most awesome week. Like, seriously. I have been making friends. I have a ton of new subscribers. Welcome, you guys. I am so beyond excited to have you here. And I hope you are enjoying this as much as I am. Please comment. I want to get to know each and every one of you. Definitely leave. I don't even care, like your favorite food of the day, like just something. I love getting to know my subscribers and that is by far the whole point of this, the best part of it. Um, I've been talking to some other friends here on YouTube and it has just been so awesome. Like meeting people, real people, not just me sitting in this room talking to a camera, talking to you guys, but actually like meeting people that watch my videos. It's crazy, but it's been just a blast so far this week. I have had so much fun. On Wednesday, I posted a tutorial, a St. Patrick's Day look with my friend Crystal from Crystal's Beauty Q. If you have not yet watched that, I will link it below. Head on over, watch mine, watch hers, subscribe if you enjoy her, which you will because she is stinking gorgeous. Um, she's so super, super sweet and just a real genuine, honest person. And I love that. Like, those are my favorite people. The real people, you know, people that are not afraid to be themselves and just show their quirkiness on camera and, you know. Anyway, so I've had an awesome week. The one thing that put a clinch, clinker in my week was my first item and that is my poop and it is not a makeup item. But everyone that knows me knows I like to have my sweets and I like to have days of eating just crap. You know, food that doesn't grow on the ground or on a tree or from an animal, like crap. But it tastes good because you gotta let yourself live a little bit. You only live one life, right? So I'm like, hey, Doritos, oven baked. That sounds like a healthy version of, of Doritos and my favorite Doritos are the the original, the nacho cheese. So I saw these packaging, new packaging. It says, new look, same great taste. All right, so um, I, like I said, I'm a sucker for packaging. And so I picked these up, took one bite. Ew, they're terrible. They literally taste like fake plastic cheese or like just like they threw some orange coloring on this wannabe chip and I don't even want to take a bite of this right now to like show you my reaction because I can already tell you it's not going to be a good one. They're terrible. They smell gross and I thought you know if I'm going to eat a chip, my original thought was I'm going to eat chips, I'm going to be healthy about eating chips. My new thought is if I'm going to eat a chip, I'm going to eat a real chip. I'm not going to mess around with this healthier version of a Dorito because this isn't a Dorito. This is a Dorito wannabe. This is a fake Dorito. Uh, but do not buy these. I mean, if you want to eat something healthy, go eat an apple. If you want to eat chips, real nacho cheese Doritos are the way to go. I don't even want to crunch these up into a taco salad because, quite frankly, it would ruin the entire experience of enjoying my taco salad. So, these are my poo. They are disgusting. Don't even think about buying them. If you want a chip, get the real thing. My next um, and first favorite is what's on my eyes. I found these eyelashes at Ulta. They are new. I don't know how new, newer, but um, they are called Color Impact, and the style is the regular um, 110s, which they have in the non-colored version. But these are wine-colored eyelashes that are supposed to enhance blue, green, and hazel eyes. And of course they have blue ones and I think they have purple ones. So dependent upon your eye color. I mean, if you're into false lashes, this is so cool. And I kid you not, like I put these on and it just has that hint of color. And it really does enhance your eye color, do you think? What do you think? I think it does. I'm loving it. I'm loving these. I used to hate false lashes. I used to not even, the first time I ever attempted to put on a false eyelash, which I wouldn't recommend this, um, was on my wedding day. So an hour later, <laughs> they were finally attached to my eyelids. Um, I would definitely recommend practicing before the day of, but I was scared, I didn't know, I didn't have a clue what I was doing, and yada yada yada. It ended up working out okay, but it took a really long time. Also, I just wanted to mention I am in a super casual shirt, sweatshirt today because I wasn't planning on filming today, but 
I want to relax the rest of the week and yes this is pre-recorded today is not Friday morning um and I want to indulge in some chocolate and sweets and stuff and when I do that my face breaks out so I wanted to film this and spare you the nasty uh, breakouts anyways the other lashes I picked up are these curvy ones which are so cool for my eye shape my eyes are kind of set deeper into my head so some of the ones that a lot of my favorite beauty gurus like Jaclyn Hill and Emily Noel and uh, da -da -da -da, can't remember they like the Demi Wispies and the um, Red Cherry 43s. Well, I bought those. Those suckers are like this long. They literally touch my eyebrow. So those don't work for me. They look ridiculous. Um, these, however, are curvy, so like they're smaller in here where I need them to be, but then they flare out on the end. So I think these are going to be really flattering. Love those. Okay. Another thing that I've kind of discovered this week, my friend Kayla, she gave me this eyebrow pencil and initially I wasn't quite sure about it. It's the Instant Brow Pencil from Benefit. Pencil for natural looking brows in very small print. That is the key. This brow pencil is not going to give you shape and sculpt. It's not going to be able to carve out your brows and draw them on kind of like I do. But um, because I haven't been wearing like a lot of makeup during the week, like my day-to-day -day life is not like this. This is not real. <laughs> this is filming life. Um, this brow pencil works really well. This is the shade Light to just literally fill in your brows for a natural looking brow. Pretty much connect the dots. Um, it's not going to do what my Anastasia pencil does or what the Tarte Brow Mousse does. This is just going to literally fill them in, connect the dots. If you have any blank spaces or patches of hair missing, or if you have a white eyebrow hair like I do right here, this is going to color it in nicely and make it blend into the other ones. Um, I don't love it, but if I'm doing a minimal makeup look, this works really well. Because when you do a minimal makeup, you don't want to have like super defined brows because that is not going to look right. That's, no. Um... I ran out of my Holy Grail mascara for my bottom lash, which is the Maybelline Lash Discovery. And I was attempting to use like a regular mascara wand on the bottom lash line. And I discovered the reason why I stink at that is because I end up getting mascara all over under here. It gets on like my inner rim. And so I'm like, that's it. I'm going back and I'm going to go and pick up my mascara that I was out of. It's this really, really tiny wand. You can really get in there and literally coat each single little um, bottom lash and you don't have to worry about it getting everywhere. Um, I don't know if it's like my eye shape or if it's operator error or what, but whenever I use a regular mascara wand on the bottom lash, it gets everywhere. So this is genius. I will never be without this mascara ever again. They do sell it in the waterproof version. This is just the regular. I get it in the blackest black because I like my lashes to be noticeable. And I love this. I would always recommend if you struggle with bottom lashes to pick up something like this. There's also the Clinique bottom lash one. I have not tried that one. But for what is this like? Uh, I don't tell it was buy one get one half off. So I don't know. It was cheap to nearly cheap. Okay, moving on to a palette that I have neglected, and I decided to whip it out this week, and I wore a very simple look to church on Sunday, and I loved, I loved how well these shadows perform, and how well and simple and easy they blend, and it is the balm. These eyeshadows are very, very creamy. They blend so well. And any eyeshadow that is going to make me look like I know what I'm doing and like I'm a professional and it's going to be all nice and blended and I don't have to struggle and work hard for like an hour, I am on board. So this is the Rockstar palette. Um, the balm was on Holt Look, Hot Look, however you say it. Um, a few days ago, I will check and write it right here if it's no longer on. But I know that, I'm not sure if this palette was even on there, but all that being said, the balm is on Holt Look from time to time, often actually. And um, and then you can most of the time get this stuff like 50% off. So I have a link down below if you are interested in checking that out. Um, like I said, it's always on there like every few months. Anyways, um, so these are the shadows. And I love this palette because you have a row of mattes. You have a row of like more really shimmery ones and then you have a row of like colored shimmery shades 
and I like the packaging of this. It's really cute. It's the whole rocker theme, and it's like this magnetized, really sturdy, durable cardboard, and then it has this cute like heart mirror. And then another reason I love this palette is the right here. This is the Mary Luminizer. Holy cow, it's gorgeous wearing it today. Check out the glow. Don't look at the hair. It is a hot mess. Um, and then um, this is another permanent line um, blush. I do not recall what it is called at the moment, but I will write it. Um, so it comes with the eyeshadows, the luminizer, the blush. This is great for travel. And then on the bottom here, it comes with two lip products. And these smell like, do you remember the Barbie, the Hawaiian Barbie, and it came with this little plastic container. I want to say it was like a perfume solid or chapstick or something, but these smell just like that. Like it reminds me of when I was, what, six or seven and I got that uh, Barbie for Christmas, but they're like, can be used as a lip a lip thingy like a lipstick or you can use them as a cheek stain and this one I is called Millie and that's like a really neutral shade and this one is called Vanilli and it is like cherry cherry I use it as a lip thing if you're going to use it on your cheeks it, look how pigmented I barely touch it if you're going to use that on your cheeks you're probably going to have to use a stippling brush or blend it out really really well or use a very light hand but I have been loving this palette I don't know why I've been neglecting it because the quality of the shadows is superb and they blend well which for me that is an absolute must okay another favorite that I picked up this week this is my first um, purchase from Calvin Klein cosmetics I blindly picked this I need I was placed in an order online and you know it's over $50 free, free shipping, so I had to like pick something else, well I didn't have to, otherwise I pay shipping, but you might as well buy something, you know? So anyways, I just blindly picked a color because I have never tried anything from uh, Calvin Klein before. I lied, I've tried their foundation in the past. Um, this is the shade Fancy, and this is really nice. It's very, very creamy. It's just a really pretty... Um, Kind of like your lips, but better. It's very neutral shade, but it almost has a little bit of terracotta in it, which I think is really on trend for um, spring here. If you're going to rock a nude lip, if it has a little hint of orange, orange is totally on trend in, in the fashion world of makeup. I don't know what I'm saying. Pretty much, I have been enjoying this lipstick. Um, would I purchase another one? Yeah, I would probably try maybe a brighter shade to see if the formula, how the formula compares to the lighter shade because sometimes, you know, different shades, the formula can be a little off. But yeah, I've been really liking that. And my last favorite, besides enjoying my week with you guys, I, I, I can't reiterate that enough. I am just having beyond enough fun. I mean, I, you may not literally be sitting here with me, but it feels like that. And so that's what makes this whole thing just ugh, ridiculously fun. It's what I'm wearing today on my lips. Check this out. This is like if you want a Radiant Orchid, which is the color of the year, lipstick, then pick this up. This is the Maybelline Vivid in Hot Plum. Ugh, love these. They stink and smell like Play-Doh. Incredibly opaque. I've talked about them numerous times. And they wear really well. They do bleed which I keep checking, and I've, I did put a lip liner on, but I feel like it still wants to travel. So you definitely need to make sure to use a liner. Look at that. Ugh. You definitely need to use a liner. Um, but it's awesome. It's awesome, and they're so inexpensive, and I got this at Ulta when it was buy one, get one half off this week. So we're talking really inexpensive. These Maybelline uh, Vivid line, I almost own them all, except for the really crazy colors. Um... They're fabulous, absolutely fabulous from the drugstore. So that is it for my favorites this week, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy seeing Friday favorites. Let me know in the comments below what you guys have been loving and any other random fact you feel like telling me the other day. Um, I hope you guys have a fabulous weekend, and I will talk to you again soon. Bye!